Well, good morning, everyone. It is morning where I am. I love y'all so much, and I haven't been on here in a while, so I was like, I got to get on here and do a video. So before I get started, I'm going to pray. Of course, you know I'm driving. Father, thank you so much, God, for your people. Thank you for your listeners, God. Thank you for each and every person that um, takes the time out to listen to these videos. I pray that it encourages people, God. I pray that you decrease me, Father, and increase you. I don't want any glory, God. I just want to bring honor to your name, and I want to do what it is that I know you would have us do, God. You love for us to witness and give out testimonies, God. So I just pray that this video reaches who is supposed to reach God. In Jesus' name, amen. So I haven't been on here in a while, so I was like, I got to do a video today, and it's going to be a busy day at work, so I don't have no other time to record this. So um, I had a great class. Um, the class was April the 30th. Um, I had spoke a lot about it on this uh, YouTube channel, and it finally came to pass, and everything was wonderful. I had a very... Um, hard time though like the last couple of days leading up to the class only because there was only four people that signed up right and so I was like wow did I miss God did I hear him tell me to have this class because I'm like why did only four people show up so in that moment God began to minister to me to tell me that like it's never about the number of people that come it's all about your obedience and it's all about the people that will be there they'll need what you have and so i poured out and gave everything that i had to those three people because only three of them showed up and it was amazing like it was really really good and it allowed me to see that it's not always about having a huge crowd but more so about intimacy and you know being able to give people what it is that they need so a lot of these people that came um they needed something from god and they needed a, a word of encouragement and they also needed help with certain things in, the, in in their business that's keeping them from making money and i'm just so blessed and so honored that god would allow my sister and i the opportunity to be able to be the vessel um to help them and it was amazing. I mean, everybody left full. I even left full. I had a great, a great day. It, it was just like, it started off a little rough, but it got so good. And it allowed me to see that I can do this. I can do whatever God asked me to do. I'm going to continue to do it. Um, so I just wanted to give y'all like a quick recap. But today, I was t I wanted to talk about something else, really. Um I, I many of you already know if you've been following this channel for a little while um, that I got promoted to be a worship leader. Um, I used to sing in a go-go band, which is music that we have here in the DMV, and it's pretty much its own genre, but it's composed of like drums, keyboard players, guitar players, stuff like that. And um, I was the lead singer for like 17 years in a band. And I retired in January, and I knew that God was going to use me to sing for him, which is what I should have been doing all along. But I didn't know that I was going to be worship leader. So I've never done that before. So this is like a new um, job for me. And so I've been seeking God about it and, you know, just asking him how to do it. And so I was in Jeremiah the other day because I was like just researching, you know, uh, when he got called, how he was like, God, you want to use me? Because, you know, a lot of times we feel so underqualified. But anyway, um, ever since I got that call, ever since I said yes, my voice has been gone. So my voice has been gone for like almost three weeks now. And it's here, but it's not really here. The allergy season has literally kicked my butt. Allergy season three, me zero. It's just been, it's been a mess. I haven't had a voice. I've had part of a voice, but it's not the best singing voice that I know that I have. And so I have just been feeling a little defeated. So that's why I was like, I gotta see God, seek his face. And so I'm grateful that he's allowed me to have enough voice though, to be able to sing at least one or two songs here and there. So my first Sunday singing was last Sunday matter of fact but I only did one song of course because I couldn't breathe I was coughing 
it was just a mess. It was really crazy. But I said all that to say, I always try to give y'all a little bit of background. I said all that to say that God will be with you. Like he will always be with you. I don't care what he calls you to. If he call you to jump out of an airplane, he going to be the parachute. He's going to be there. He's going to literally help you through any and everything. And so I'm just grateful that he called me, but he's helping me. And I just been telling him, like, God, you know, I don't have no voice. I need help. Like, help me get through this week. Help me. You know, I was in at home last night rehearsing. And I was like, goodness, I still don't have a full, complete voice yet. And that can be very frustrating to a singer, you know, because we sing all the time. And because I can't really give everything that I have, it's it can be a little frustrating. But I will not allow the devil to steal what God has called me to do. I won't allow it. And that's exactly what's happening. As soon as I told my pastor that I still don't have a voice, he was like, that's Satan. Satan trying to kill. I said, I know. I said, I know, Pastor V. So I have literally just been staying at God's feet allowing him to give me strength and to repair my voice. Um, I know I haven't damaged it or anything, but I just want to be cleared. And my aunt was telling me yesterday, she was like, maybe you need to get an allergy shot. And I was like, I didn't even know they had those. So that's something that I'm going to look into um, because I didn't realize how bad my allergies get. But I'm definitely going to look into that. So... I love y'all so much. I just wanted to give y'all a quick update. And um, I just want y'all to pray for me as I'm going to pray for you. And um, just don't allow the devil to keep you back. Like, I'm going to keep singing. I'm going to keep doing it. And I'm not going to shut up. So he thought he won, but he lost again. God is my father. God going to do it. If I can't do it, God can do it. So if God not there, I'm not there. Wherever God is, I am. So I love y'all, and I will talk to you guys soon.